Hola, bonjour, hello. Welcome to Shantou's Tarot. Hi, everyone. Welcome. This is a general message for the sign of Gemini for the month of March 2020. Um, you could have March anywhere in your astrological chart. You could also be cross-watching for Gemini or simply be intuitively guided to watch. Whatever the reason or season, you are very welcome. A quick announcement that I am going to be giving away a free, one free reading uh, once a month. Um, to enter, you need to either follow me on Instagram and leave a comment or subscribe and leave a comment. It has to be on a current, a current month's post um, on Instagram or on uh, YouTube, either or. Uh, and I will announce uh, by the first of the following month. So for the month of February, I will announce the first of March. Also, please do check out my Instagram page at Shantus Tarot. I do daily card pulls, so you get a little free mini reading on a daily basis. All right, let's get started. At the bottom of the deck, Gemini, we have the Four of Pentacles. So this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is holding on to something and not letting go. It could be finances, it could be a relationship, um, it could be to certain values or principles, but um, this is the energy of holding on tightly to something. I mean, he's literally holding on to his coins. So, yeah, however that applies, you holding on to something, not being willing to let it go. So I've noticed that a lot of the same cards that I pulled for the Taurus general reading are also here in the Gemini reading. And I did shuffle, I, I shuffle well between each reading, um, and, and I say an intention. So uh, I would say that there's a high probability that there's a Gemini Taurus connection here, or perhaps you or the person that you're uh, involved with, um, or someone that's close to you, doesn't have to be a romantic partner, are um, someone born on the cusp of Taurus, Gemini. But there's definitely some sort of significant connection between Taurus and Gemini here, however that resonates for you. The central energy for the month, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So more Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a card of independence, particularly financial and material independence. You could be someone who works outside, um, in agriculture, landscaping. Um, you could work with animals, but you're very comfortable outdoors. And your financial situation, if it was not great in the past, it's improving. Um, but this is really, really great energy. This is you doing really well, not needing others to, to thrive or to be, to be stable. So this is a beautiful card and, um, it could be material and emotional abundance, but this, that person that's represented in the Nine of Pentacles is doing very well and is, is very balanced and autonomous. So the underlying energy, more Pentacles, Earth energy. Again, I feel like there's a very strong Taurus-Gemini connection here. Um, this has to do with building, um, the beginning of, of a project, so perhaps you're beginning a project of, of a business um, that you currently are running, or you're considering starting your own business from the ground up. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting entrepreneurial energy here. Perhaps you could also be starting a new job, a new position, maybe a promotion. Employment, if, you ha if you've been unemployed lately, but th things are looking financially 
strong for the month of March. First week energy is the Five of Cups. So this is water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is um, an energy of regret, of loss. You could be disappointed because a situation didn't turn out the way you had hoped. It could be romantic, professional, family, familial, um, really could go any way, but you're, you're not happy about something. And, and I always like to point out in the Five of Cups that this person is focusing on their loss, what they lack, not on what they still have, on their blessings. And of course, it's perfectly understandable to feel frustration, disappointment, and sadness and anger when something doesn't go the way you had hoped. But don't allow these negative feelings and energies prevent you from recognizing your your blessings. And I do my very best every morning before I get out of bed to make a list of five things or people or situations, just five, a list of five at least. Sometimes I go a little over things that I'm grateful for. And I think it just, you know, even if you have a challenging day, it's a wonderful way to, to humble yourself and remember that no matter how dark and challenging things get, there's always something that you can find to be grateful for. Second week, we have the energy of the Seven of Wands. This was also in the Taurus reading. So this is being very defensive. Perhaps you're feeling both defensive and disappointed, which is not a great combination, but you may be feeling you may be feeling disappointment because you have to defend yourself in a situation where you didn't think you needed to. That could be about a relationship, about a professional choice, um, any, any sort of life choice. But you may be disappointed that you didn't get the support that you needed. And, you know, the, these wands here are, um, you know, they're, they're on the offense and this person's on the defense. So you may be very guarded and, you know, your feelings are always valid. Just be mindful that if you are feeling guarded or defensive, that that doesn't manifest as being unkind or cruel. Be mindful of your actions and reactions. So this is air energy for the third week of March, Page of Swords. You could have a child who is an air sign you could be involved with someone who's younger than you as an air sign, or you could be the younger air sign. Uh, this is also the card of social media spying. So perhaps someone is checking you out or you're checking someone out. The fact that this card is next to the pentacles card makes me think that perhaps a potential employer or, or prospective business partner or colleague is looking you up online, maybe your social media. Um, they could also be checking out your professional presence. So maybe LinkedIn. So just keep that in mind. Always be mindful of your presence online. Because once it once you post something, even with all of the restrictions and privacy protections that we try to put on our social media profiles, things can still be released or leaked in some way or shared in some way. You just never know. So just just be mindful. And I don't I just noticed this before. It's so weird. Th these like I guess it's the tree, but I see for the first time ever I see it's the letter F. So maybe your name starts with the letter F or the person that you're involved with or that's watching you's name starts with the letter F, but that just really is standing out. The way that the trees are shaped and blowing in the wind, I see F. So F may be significant in some way. Facebook, I don't know, but F is really sticking out. Final card we have is the King of Cups. So water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This could be a father figure. Um, this could be you. Maybe you have water in your chart. The King of Cups is very emotional and very emotionally mature, but isn't necessarily very demonstrative with his love and affection. So even though, you know, this this person 
feels a lot, they don't always show it. So perhaps this is you, or perhaps this is someone close to you, um, a, dom a domestic partner, romantic partner, um, a close relative, like, you know, a, a parent or s a sibling of some sort who who is very emotional but doesn't necessarily always reveal their emotions to you. Um, see a bit of blue here, so make sure that you're speaking your truth, but when you do, be kind, be compassionate. Um, remember, I'm, I said before, you know, if you're feeling defensive, your feelings are valid, but just be careful that you don't use your words as weapons. Um, because words can can hurt and cut and cut deeply. So I hope this message resonated, Gemini. If it did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Um, if only parts of it did, take what did, leave the rest. And if nothing resonated, that's okay. Check out other videos for signs and other placements in your astrological chart. It's a general reading, so just statistically speaking, it can't resonate with everyone, but I do appreciate your taking the time to check it out, uh, this video. I'm wishing you so much love and light wherever you are in the world. Take good care of yourself. Bye.